2022 Lexus NX 350H Review, The Affordable Fuel Sipper The Lexus NX doesn't use luxury or sportiness like some of its higher-end counterparts do, i, the Genesis GV70. But even in this hyper-competitive segment, the little Lexus brings a lot to the table. It combines a comfortable ride, efficient powertrain options, and usable tech into a package that's priced competitively. And the 2022 Lexus NX 350h specifically has an edge over the competition for one simple reason, it's the only non-plug-in hybrid in the class, although one of those is available too. That means you can have your efficiency and afford it too, with up to 39 miles per gallon combined and a starting price of $42,700. The 2022 NX shares a number of visual cues with its predecessors. The big spindle grille is similar and the slim headlights bear equivalent hook-like LEDs, although now those accents are embedded within the light fixtures rather than beneath them. Even the silhouette is almost identical. But with new mesh and a revised shape, the spindle grille is less imposing. And even without the F Sport package, the grille now extends all the way down to the base of the bumper rather than curving inward like before. The LED light bar in the rear is probably the biggest upgrade of all though, joined by a Lexus wordmark spread across the trunk lid. It makes the NX much sleeker from behind. The interior is more noticeably improved. The layout has less clutter with fewer knobs and buttons, and best of all, no more touchpad in the center console. Even the shifter is a tinge smaller to help shrink the overall footprint. There's more leather, too, with the black and cream combo on this tester jutting upward from the center console along the driver's side, to create a partition between the shift knob and the new central touchscreen. The front seats in the new NX are straight-up cozy. With real leather on this tester included as part of the $7,450 luxury trim, the chairs are soft and supportive with ample side bolstering, excellent lumbar support, and 10-way power adjustability, and seat heat as well as ventilation if you select the $3,050 premium package, this car does without it. The second row is comfy too, with more than enough headroom and legroom for your 6-foot-tall author. Only the F Sport models get an adaptive suspension, but even without it, the NX has a plush ride that performs well over broken and imperfect pavement. The NX is extremely quiet too, with barely any wind or tire roar at higher speeds. As one of the smallest offerings in the segment, though, the NX does fall a bit short in cargo space. Even though it gains an additional 5 cubic feet of trunk room compared to its predecessor, its diminutive size still puts it on the lower end of the luxury segment. This is one area where the Lexus NX improved tenfold. The dreaded touchpad is gone, as is the monolithic screen. Instead, the NX makes do with a lovely 14.0-inch touchscreen display, as part of the luxury package, and the latest and greatest infotainment system baked in. There's also a 10.0-inch head-up display and a fully digital cluster behind the steering wheel, and both are configurable enough to display all the features you might need. As for that new infotainment system, it's the closest thing to an Apple or Android interface for your car without actually plugging in. A minimalist layout, sleek graphics, and instant touch responsiveness make it extremely easy to navigate features. There is some clutter when you dive deeper into the options, and the lack of a home button is sort of annoying, but those are minor gripes. This is still one of the best new infotainment systems out there. As far as premium crossovers go, the Lexus NX is middling in the performance department. The 2.5-liter four-cylinder hybrid engine pumps out a combined 239 horsepower, with the engine propping 167 pound-feet of torque. An electric motor on the rear axle gives the NX standard all-wheel drive. The NX Hybrid isn't quick, agile, or much of anything exciting, but it is pleasant enough to putter around town in. The steering is lightweight, the suspension is plush, and the brakes are perfectly compliant. If you want more fun, the non-hybrid F Sport has extra power and adaptive drive modes that notch things up a bit, or there's a plug-in hybrid option with yet more grunt. Every NX comes standard with Lexus Safety System Plus 3.0. That includes adaptive cruise control, automatic emergency braking, lane departure warning, lane centering, emergency steer assist, and a bit more. 
and it all works exactly as advertised, the NX comes to a full stop in traffic jams and the lane assistance tech keeps the car perfectly centered in the lane at highway speeds. Even without the hybrid powertrain equipped, the Lexus NX is already the most efficient vehicle in the segment with up to 28 miles per gallon combined. As the only traditional hybrid option in the class, not counting plug-ins, the Lexus has an even more significant leg up over its non-hybrid competitors. The non-hybrid Lexus NX undercuts every other compact luxury crossover with a sub-$40,000 starting price. But the hybrid option is still one of the most affordable options in the class, too. The NX350H with standard all-wheel drive has a base price of $42,700 with the $1,075 destination fee, only the GV70 and RDX are cheaper to start, and far less efficient to boot. The car tested here is a cool $52,150 as tested, with the $7,450 luxury trim and a few options equipped. But opting for the luxury model gives you access to things like 20-inch wheels, real leather seats, a bigger touchscreen, and a head-up display. The Power Moonroof is another $1,100 on top of that, the Cloudburst gray paint is $500, and the Power Liftgate is $400. The 2022 Lexus NX350H isn't flashy, nor does it look all that different from the one it replaces. But it nails the basics, a comfortable cabin, advanced technology, and efficiency and pricing that outpace nearly everything in the segment. For luxury shoppers wanting a smart fuel sipper, the NX350H is the crossover to get. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.